<laughs> Alex, I just want to, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to paint your knee. You're like the hottest yeah. guy I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, like. That's not, that's not my knee. My, put your my, hand down lower. My sister's really like the RC parts in one of the family. And she gets mm-hmm. everyone yeah. comments on my yeah. sister. And yeah. it's, it's like the whole way. Oh, uh, your, your leg's really smooth right here. Yeah, that's that's my butthole. Please, my knee right here. Right oh, there. Right can, there. Can, can, can you tuck me in? Or just lay with me for a minute? Please. <laughs> I'll paint you. <laughs> I'll paint you like one of them German boys. <laughs> when she was painting his knee. Oh, boy. I lost it when she just says, my sister's the artsy, artsy one. And that's where <laughs> Alex got the idea for an OnlyFans. Yeah. He's fucking hot. Jesus. <sighs> when you saw him, you're like, there we go. Poodle's going to love him. I, I, He is really hot. I will say. He unfortunately also- knows it. He probably isn't hot to you because you grew up with him, but I do think Chance is hot too. Not as hot as Alex, but when no. he took off that shirt and had all those tattoos, I leaned he's in. A, he's a corn-fed uh, South Carolina boy. He's from Charleston. Not a big dick. No. No. Actually, it's it's nice though. I it's not it's not huge, but it's nice. I still I think, would gladly. I still think Colin's got the dick uh, of the crew. Don't Single you think? Colin. Ooh. Y'all, this is below Dick Sailing Yacht. BDSM. BD- <laughs> BDSM. No. Welcome. No, BDSY. But what did say, I say? BDSM. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just, it just rolls up the tongue. <laughs> yeah. Easier. Kind of the only way you can say it. Only way you can Y'all, say it. This is season four. We're back. This is episode one of season four. Parse of fail. Parse of fail. If you're new to reality games. Are you new? Um, where you been? Um, we cover 90 Day Fiance. We cover Love After Lockup. We cover other shit shows. Below we also Dick. Love is Blind. And below, Stacey. Yes. Below Deck is something we cover, and it is back. We we're very excited for Sailing Yacht. Um, we had two you, weeks off. <laughs> we did. If you want to listen to this episode commercial free or ad free, ad free for what, Poodle? Your pleasure. For your, your pleasure. Your pl- if you want to listen to this ad free, you can join Reality Gaze Plus at the $8 tier and you get Love After Lockup, all of our cringe shows, you get Love is Blind, and you get all of our free feed shows ad free. You even get at the $15 level, you get a YouTube live with us. Yes. The poodle is sometimes not clothed. <laughs> no, you got to pay. No, the, the, the $45 tier. You might get one of my nipples if you're lucky. The forty-five dollar <laughs> tier, which is yet to be expounded upon, that'll be a little more. I, we're not doing a forty-five dollar tier. You keep trying, like three times now. I've logged into our Patreon and I see that you've and I, added and it. I've tried to add it. Instead of come at me, he wants to name it the come on come me on tier. Come on me tier. And I'm like, no. Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. I think I'm just trying to cross to cross promote my two my 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 two loves. Yeah. I'm not into that. in reality TV. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, that those aren't far off. Uh, the $45 tier will be 21 and above. <laughs> <sighs> you need a you know, parent's you need a parent signature. <laughs> a parent signature. I don't care if your parent is 90. <laughs> we need to, they need to sign line. off. <laughs> they'll they'll need to sign off on something like yeah. that. You will you will need to see a driver's license, no. not a student ID. <laughs> Don't work. You'll need to be all of your, all of your, uh, all of your wills and everything needs to be in order. Everything needs to be in order. Prove all of it. Um, I'm so glad this show is back. I missed it. This, I, it's so interesting. The way I've started with Below Deck Sailing Yacht, I, I watched the first season and it was so bad. And it just turns out they didn't have the right crew. Captain Glenn wasn't really with them yet. Yes. It didn't, it wasn't really gelling and when I, I complained about it, because I watched every other franchise I, I all the whole time, and I complained about it, and everyone said, no, you must watch season two. Everything changes. And I was like, eh, eh, you're wrong. 
And then I turned on season two and I went, what is this wonderful thing? Because it was so messy. Um, the combination of Daisy and Gary and and their love-hate relationship and Colin and Captain we're, Glenn. Not, we're not of them work. on season one? No. Ah. Uh. Just a bunch of dinguses. <laughs> Um, who knew we saw young pictures of Captain Glenn and he was hot. Ooh. I'm always Glenn. I've always got a little crush on him. There's something he's, about him. Those Canadians. Canadian-ness. He could fuck you and feed you that coffee crisp we like so much. <laughs> wow, that's niche. <laughs> Would you like a coffee crisp? Hey. Oh, Caitlin. I know we are... just did the dirty, but yeah. um can I can I gift you a coffee crisp or maybe an arrow bar? Arrow bar. Um, Caitlin, maybe a wonder bar is loving that. Mr. Chunk. So the, or some smarties <laughs> or some smarties. You guys, if y'all are, uh, or love is blind fans. You want to, the last episode is airing this Thursday night at midnight. Um, you want to make sure that you watch that. And then you listen to our last episode that's dropping on reality Gates plus the $5 tier. Uh, and you can join us on Sunday, the 16th. Cause we are doing what poodle. Love is live. It is alive and it's live and we are live in Orange County. <laughs> Cause I'm going to be down there. Uh, my show is, is getting a stage reading in Anaheim and I'm going to be down there for rehearsals. And I honestly did not feel like driving 90 minutes when it's so late at night and being there at all kinds of crazy times. So I'm just staying in a little Airbnb down there. So I got to go down there. Cause I'm not fucking- coming back. Because he's got rehearsal that night. Well, so. I do have rehearsal that day, like until about two. So it would be hard for me to get back. Mm. And I have rehearsal the next day. Oh, but you don't have rehearsal that night? No, because we're doing our thing. Well, that's good. You, you can get. Oh, wait, just... I do have rehearsal. Shit. I have it at seven o'clock. <sighs> well, I hope the finale isn't long. No, I'm going to get ripped. <laughs> so um, we'll be drinking. We'll it, be... Is, it is. It can't be long. It'll. I guarantee it'll be a half hour. No, they're going to milk that for an hour at least. You think? Yeah. They just put in your Invisalign. I did. I did. I had it out because I was drinking Dr. Pepper. It's all to wind me up. I want that Invisalign. Where are my rubber bands? Oh, I don't have them. I can't put them where's, on. Where's your headgear? I know. I'm just certain that's going to be the next step. Mm-hmm. Um, so, y'all. Anyway, y'all, check that. It's going to be sent to everyone on the, every tier. You can watch that with us. Um, anything else? What else do we have going on, Poots? Uh, we Love After Lockup is going to be going on our cringe tier. Is going to go away in about... Ooh, two episodes, three episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, because Mama June, I, I leave Mama June from hot to not. I don't know if they're still using that subtitle, but Mama June takes over. Um, there's apparently still an audience for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, she's uh, somehow even losing weight. She still looks like a thumb, uh, to me. That's true. Uh, mm-hmm. And. That'll be on for about six to eight weeks, I believe. And then Love mm-hmm. After Lockup comes back. I'm not sure. I think it's probably Love During Lockup. That is that is the the, the pattern they've been going through. Um, that's the hope. That's the hope. It's, I it's, love it's Love During Lockup. It's so messy. <laughs> it's when they're, in, they're in, when they're having Poodle's favorite, what he tries to in life, having a relationship with someone while they're in prison, but still yes. getting money from them. Yes. The dream. The dream. It's where we first met Ty. Yeah. And Mark. <laughs> Remember crazy, crazy Mark? Mm-hmm. The psychopath. <laughs> and also the reproductive abuser. Mark. Yeah, Mark was crazy. Even his mother hated him. <laughs> she did. It's great. Uh, oh, that was, that was the time. And I think, did we meet? We met Indy and Harry. They were first on Love During Lockup. And, and Mama so Yolanda, the, the bounty hunter. I think so too. I think we um, met them. Maybe, maybe they were on like, Love After Lockup. I can't remember. I don't know. Y'all, Love in Paradise is starting on April seventeenth on TLC. We'll be covering that as well on the free it's, feed. It is my. It is. I think Toe is Poodles, but Love in Paradise is my favorite spinoff. It's my second of, favorite 
Um, well, I do like single life too. Ooh, God. The only it's, problem with single life is it goes on too long. Goes on I feel too like long. they do too many episodes. Love in Paradise is my, oh, I love it. I love it. Um, Seeking Brother Husband is out now. You and me, my, you, me, my ex is coming. That's all at the cringe tier, $8 tier. Classless season six. Our charity for the month for April and going into May is the Drag Defense Fund along with the ACLU. You can donate in the Sissy Squad or you can just donate. We just want to watch their digital worldwide moment on May 7th. Tons and tons of your favorite drag queens. And us. No, I'm kidding. We're, that sounds like we're on <laughs> We're not it. on there. We're not on it, but we will be doing a watch and chat. It's, but we're all we'll be harkening back to Discord. what we used to do. Yes. Yeah, we'll be we'll be kind of like, and I think that's for everybody. We'll be. I think so. Explain yeah. what that is while I get my rubber bands. D- please, no. Please. God, I hate, I can hear them. I can hear them opening. Y'all, Discord is, it's a very easy kind of chat uh, per platform where we will be kind of we'll be watching the show and we'll be chatting it's not it's not you won't be able to watch us video wise but we will be commenting on um on the i think it was almost like a telethon i believe yeah i think it is yeah please don't put them when i'm looking at you and on camera well then look away poodle look away <laughs> That's a great song i gotta um, put them I'm, on you could have done that off camera well but i wanted to get back on the mic Oh, you can hear them snapping, y'all. Ugh. Well, the, the more I wear them, the sooner they get off. That's what you told me, but it seems like it's been four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, my orthodontist keeps pushing it back because he's a perfectionist. Oh. I asked him, honestly, just to bother you, if I could just get full-on braces. And he said they wouldn't <laughs> work as well. And I went, shit. I would rip those out of your teeth. <laughs> I would, I would actually it. just start start um I would just start introducing you. And this is my friend Adult Braces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would have been fine with it. I'm I'm at a point I'm single right now and I don't want to date anyone, so I don't so I just like put on the headgear just to bother you. I'm here for it. <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's do this thing. Y'all, we're in Sardinia. We're in Sardinia. Um, Are which, sardines from there? You know, I don't know. Well, I think I think sardines may have been named after Sardinia. Riveting. Never thought I'd need to Google that, but <laughs> probably probably more likely that sardines may have been either they were plentiful there. My father used Are- to eat sardines growing up, and I was so grossed out buy it but now you can buy like the white sardines sometimes they give you on caesar salads and i like those sardines are named after the island of sardinia where they were once found in abundance there that's exactly <laughs> thank you i could have told you that you didn't, even, you didn't even need uncle google <laughs> so y'all the our regular our crew of three um, or four, if you would count. Four, really. You count Captain Glenn, and he should be counted. We have should. Daisy, who who is telling everyone she does say that's alone in this episode. The alone, the alone, alone. <laughs> the man's alone. Um, we have Daisy, our head chief stew, Gary, our first officer, and Colin, our chief engineer. Um, if you know if this is if this if this franchise is new to you, know that the ship runs a lot since it's a yacht. It runs a little leaner. Um, in that a smaller boat, yeah, it's a lot smaller boat. It's it's a sailing yacht, so it's much smaller. Um, and so you need a little bit of a smaller crew, especially when it comes to the operations side. Mm-hmm. Um, but they've. This is that's been the crew, and so we got Gary and Colin, and y'all. Colin has had a girlfriend for like the last two seasons, so single Colin. We have seen clips of him making out with Daisy. That is for real. Um, what we think, and then we have seen other clips where Gary's like, "So are you? Are you with her?" And he gets so jealous. I love it. I love this love triangle. I love all three of them independently, and I love them even more when they are enmeshed. I want them. I I'd be fine to watch that threesome. Watch a menagerie. I don't think the two two guys. You know, I think Gary would be okay with it. I'm not sure Colin would be. Would do you think Gary and Colin maybe might get into a fight of over her and they're like wrestling? No, they're, they're just, bros. They're, they're gonna they're be wrestling. They're this fighting is fighting about it. 
And then they're rolling around on the ground and stuff's getting knocked over. There's food and Gary's long, beautiful hair. That has and then no they, basis in reality. They but look it's at hot. each other and he says, hey, have you ever motorboated someone on a sailing yacht? And then they fly. Yeah, I think that's a little mascot. <laughs> that's the romantic part. Mm -hmm. uh, so, y'all, what, what we normally do, if you don't know, if this is a new franchise for you we normally do tea bags which are our uh kind of well, we don't do a lot of these episodes um full recap because it's a lot of and then this happened and then this happened and then someone this happened. once messaged me and said can you go through can you go through the below deck shows like uh crappens does and i just responded no listen to watch what crappens we love them and honestly it's it's the way it's kind of the, the way, way our brains work it's, when we it's watch. The way our, it's the way our brains work when we do. We do a lot of Bravo shows. Um, yeah, like we did Southern Charm this way, I believe, didn't we? And Summer House this yeah, way. Yeah, I think there. It's the way. It's these shows are less done docu style, um, and so it's much more about events than character. Um, yes, so we find so. we find it a little for us for us because we all have our ways that that things work. Mostly because I think I think I think I screamed. I can't do this, uh, and because it felt weird. And uh, and you're like, just so I don't have to deal with him screaming, I'll say yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But it, I think it make for us. It makes a better show to do tea bags. For me, for me, for me. <laughs> yeah, for my I show, our show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I like it that I'm, I'm talking to you. My, I had to turn on my things for do not disturb and I'm, um, getting blown up that Kim from Cray Cray, 90 day Cray Cray has texted me about Kwame and Chelsea from love is blind. It, the people ever, you, how many texts do you get a day about love is blind? Uh, people for friends. I watch it. For, I at least get two or three Five texts or a day. Yeah. yeah with friends. It, it is the most talked about show. Yeah, anyway, yeah. sorry. Let me, I put that on Do Not Disturb. That will not bother me. But hi, Kim. We love 90 Day Cray Cray, hi, Kim. Kim and Gal. Um, okay, so <clears throat> let's. So this is going to be a different episode. We're going to go through tea bags, but first, let's kind of just go through um, what we normally do kind of poten uh, potential um, crew members and kind of what we think we can expect them. And sometimes, and before, one thing I've learned on this show is that when Jake and I are right, we are right. And when we are wrong, we are very, very wrong. You think sometimes we'd be good at predicting a couple of times. Remember when we said we thought Alyssa would be a great team and she was going to do really well on the ship. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if those first impressions are useful. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know if they are. And, Cause I don't, I think they're so early. Yeah, we don't know what that idiot's gonna do. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm I, at this point. I thought I Lexi was fun. Really? I guess <laughs> I, I can't even imagine what I thought about her at first. Anyway, so we, obviously Captain Clint is back. There's Daisy. This is her third year now being Chief Stew. I think Stu. so. Yeah. Um, Gary is good. Gary's not there yet. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, Gary's the first mate. Colin's chief engineer. First and officer. Our first officer, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and then Aisha, that's how you say her name? Alicia, I believe. Alicia. Alicia. Yes, Alicia. Alicia. She's an Aussie. She's a chef. She's, um, we've had, we've had, uh, I believe she might be the youngest chef. Or she looks young. She's, she's, she's tiny. Tiny. She's petite. Um, so maybe she is a little older, but she looks young. She said she'd been a chef for, I believe she said 16 years. I think so, so. Maybe girl just stays out of the sun, keeps keeps her skin looking good. But um, her energy is young. Um, she, I think she keeps out of the sun, but she cooks later when we see her food. She does not cook like a beginner. Yeah, she seems really competent. Um, like she knows what she's doing. Everything. Uh, I hope she. I hope that she does say she's a perfectionist. Um, she does that's, say that that's being a chef, y'all. A lot does of them are. Does she seem like to you that she will end up 
having a breakdown because she kind of says that she's a little she said she's a little what did she say did she say crazy or emotional or she said something wound tight i'm not not sure i I remember hearing that what i'm what i like about it is it just takes it takes one level of less toxic masculinity off of the ship so it's Ah. always better it's always better when you when you have why uh, i mean i haven't seen any but but the only male chefs I've seen, well, no, not Marcos. He was really, but, but the other, Matthew, I guess that's, they've just are assholes. Matthew. No, that's, that's, that's generally the rule. <laughs> they're, the chefs are assholes. Mostly, still, they're, they're mostly men and they're mostly assholes. We still need to, um, we need to get Marcos oh, on the show. Ben. Except for, Ben is an asshole, but he's, a, he's very good at his job and he's, People way. have come for you about him. They've come for you. What do you they mean? They say you're digmatized. Well, they admit it too, though. Chef, some there's do. There's something about Chef Ben that people that 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 I that just attracts me to him. I get it. You're not attracted to Gary, and I'm so fucking well, into Gary. I kind of, I kind of got, I kind of became attracted to him. Oh, but I'm still not so into him. But y'all, Gary's got something. Oh, Maybe it's a Kavorka from Seinfeld or something. Oh, he, he, y'all, he, he literally fucked two, <laughs> I think it was season three. He fucked two stews and they basically fought over him the whole time. <laughs> and how funny the tables are going to turn. So we, then we have Le- Lucy, who's, Lucy, who's a stew. Um, she, From Wales. she talks about how she's clumsy. I mean, already she's knocking shit off the boat, all, which is going to be great she's, on a sailing yacht. She is gorgeous <laughs> both of them are gorgeous yeah. um but there's also madison or goes by mads what i i really like she's making a good first impression on me because she's like look i look like i'm a bitch but i'm so fun and i have no standards with who i fuck and i went <laughs> i am ready for you check and check i'm you here know, for this i liked it that she brought that up because later in the episode she was just like staring at daisy with just the biggest bitch <laughs> face on <laughs> And Daisy and Daisy had Daisy didn't didn't blat an eye. Because not I an eye. Daisy now with men, she'll take things personal sometimes. But she will she'll try to avoid a lot of that conflict. She will. Um but she will. And uh well we we also have uh, I can't also see the name Madison without going Madison, 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 Madison. God, I'm so glad we don't cover that show anymore. I do not miss I it. Don't, I think they're filming. Oh no, they're filming the new season. I I do. People, I got a lot of message of how good that uh, Levis show, uh, Southern Hospitality, was. No, they didn't say it was good. They said it was tragically bad that we should enjoy it because it's so bad. Yeah, messy. Yeah. So I'm sure it's going to get a season two. Um, speaking of South Carolina, Poodle Chase from from Charleston, Seton. Um, he's here to make money. Look, y'all, this is a this is a low country boy who went. I guess I'm going to call, call this now. Went to a, looks like he went to uh, military school, um, or at least a private boys school down there. Um, I bet you you are reading this for filth. I he just he's a lot of like a lot of boys. He might he might have been he might have been from somewhere in like Columbia, the middle middle of the state somewhere. Um, probably from a good family because he doesn't talk like a hick. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, it's just typical. He just, it's, 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 you, they, I will say the, the boys are quite pretty this season. Chase I is agree hot, with you. I think he but, does have a nice dick. Now Chase says, love me or hate me. I'm too high energy. I think if anyone could not have a good time on the ship, it could be Chase. Yeah. And then there's Alex. Oh God. Just talk about him. Go ahead. Who I just wrote, holy fuck. <laughs> Y'all, Alex, Alex lives to be the guy that when you're, let's say you are, you're vacationing on the beach and you're in your mid forties, you're a woman and you're, you're really looking for something. And Alex would love to be your houseboy. Just oh. to tell stories about it later. He has a pretty healthy libido. He's fucked lots of people. <laughs> lots and lots, lots and lots, lots of people. Mm-hmm. 
and he does know he's attractive. He knows it. And he and this is the type of guy that drives Poodle crazy. Yeah. Um it's it's also there is a sense of um he's confident and he knows it like later on when he <laughs> All right, he says, get off his dick. When he says to the to the to the women, he's like, "So let me know when you want to get off." He's used that joke before. The women go, Whoa! <laughs> and the one woman who's painting his knee later on goes, "I think Alex is the hottest guy I've ever seen in real life." I guarantee <laughs> you, woman, I guarantee you, women have paid him for sex. Uh, possibly. He gives me possibly. an escort vibe and. Interesting. Really confidence. I don't. I don't mean that's a bad escort, thing. Male escorts usually don't work, <laughs> so I don't know if if I would. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. They don't because usually, they don't. They they prefer sex work. So and they usually do steal your wallet. Yeah. So why would they, if they're working, need to steal your wallet? That's true. Um, yeah. I think is that everybody. Yes, I believe that is okay. the, the the whole crew. We should take a quick breaky. And now another reality gaze lightning round. <laughs> Y'all. This is when we go so many answers to us one question, um, and we keep going until we either laugh too hard or we or we find the answer. Or uh, Poodle just falls Cut asleep. It. Yeah, yeah. So the question here is: mm -hmm. What did Gary do to get COVID again? What did Gary? do to get COVID. Okay. 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 You, Are you ready? First? Oh, uh, we're going to first. Um, he, I mean, had an orgy. <laughs> okay. That's a, some place to start. Yes. What did Gary do to get COVID poodle? Uh, he did shots with the Tasmanian devil and made out with her after. <laughs> right again. <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> um, what did Gary do to get COVID? He was on the mainland in Italy and he actually fucked, a ro uh, fucked an Italian statue. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're hot. <laughs> you stick your dick right in between the arm. <laughs> that was a double answer. That's what he did. <laughs> Poodle, what did Gary do to get COVID? He actually performed the first human dolphin sexual intercourse. <laughs> um, and the dolphin goes, eh, 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 eh. I tested positive. And he goes, I don't care. And then he fucked the dolphin, and then they both had a really good day, but he got COVID next day. You are correct. I think that's the right answer. <laughs> he fucked a dolphin. I don't know how to follow that. There is no. That's And that's your lightning round. <laughs> that's your lightning round, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely – I should have used that when, like – I, I start going, I'm like, no, this is like a fourth round answer. It was too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. Gary has COVID through any number of reasons. Uh, Gary I, doesn't understand how COVID works. So this is, while we bring this up, <laughs> he's talking to Captain Glenn and he's like, I don't know why I keep testing positive. You know, maybe it's because I'm sleeping on my pillow and I keep bringing the, I keep breathing the COVID back in, like back and forth. And Captain Glenn says, yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> That's the most Canadian, <laughs> Canadian response to that. <laughs> Captain Sandy says, what are you, stupid? That's not how this works. <laughs> Y'all, I was just in Canada recently, and 
my favorite thing in this hotel. It was the most Canadian thing I've ever seen. It said, if this, this hotel had Le Labo products. And so it's really nice. And it's like, if you wish wow. to take, if you'd wish to take home the Le Labo soap and, and other products, um, please note that an $84 charge will be applied to your credit, to be applied to your stay. Thank you. <laughs> Basically said, come on, motherfuckers, try us. This is expensive. We know it, and we know you want to take it. (laughs) If you wish to take them home. (laughs) At the bird bird sanctuary that we went to, the bird solarium, one of the signs says, please shut doors quickly as birds may fly out. And then it said also, please do not use selfie sticks close to the birds as it upsets them. <laughs> and I sent, I sent this one a couple of pictures of birds being really close. I did not like it. Yeah. At one point, a bird was just sitting on a woman's arm. It was like trying to use her beak near her. And she's like, I know, sloppy. That wasn't the bird's name. I can't remember it. <laughs> but That's, that's uh, what they call you in the dungeon. <laughs> they, there goes sloppy. <laughs> Floppy bottom. Hey, boy! <laughs> anyway, all right. What's where was your I? fucking next tea bag? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, good for Daisy for making these. Since they had so much drama last season with who was a stew with between Ashley and uh, Gabriella. D- oh my Daisy's god, like, that was Ashley Daisy, and Gabriella. Daisy went. Um, I think we're gonna make you both junior stews. <laughs> Yeah. Remember the drama? Boy. What an and I and all I could think of was three blonde stews. Three blonde, blonde stews. stews. See, See how, how they, they fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all both those girls are probably gonna hook up with one of them is gonna hook up with Gary for sure, and the other's gonna hook up with another guy. Probably Alex. Did we see Alex kiss? We did see Alex kissing people. That's the thing. They got six people. That or they didn't realize with Daisy, um, Daisy and Colin's just a blessing. But the rest of they just got people who want to fuck on this single. Boat. Yeah, the seems like the chef is the only one who has a boyfriend who recently got back together with her boyfriend. And did and you see the picture is, of him? Holy oh, shit! Well, everyone's she's gorgeous. Quite, everyone's quite attractive on this boat. Yeah, yeah. I'd never get cast on Below Deck Sailing. I'd, I'd be like that. You could be they, a ch- charter guest. No, well, that, but they wouldn't cast me as a crew because I'd be like that Kristen Wiig character from the Saturday Night Live, and I'm literally <laughs> <laughs> in the corner of the boat. Just <laughs> now, you'd be too old to. <laughs> Not wanting an oldie for a crew member. Your bones are too brittle. Hey, what you're saying about me is what you're saying about you. Oh, I'm spry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to see you get in that that uh, bunk bed at night and then see Poodle trying to get out. I still find those bunk beds really hazardous. Um, what is what's your what about your next tea bag? Um, yeah, so she makes them. So we um, that's where what was my next? We already talked about Gary. Uh, get so I don't know if Elisha. How do you say your name again? Elisha. Alicia. Like Eileen and Alicia. Alicia together. Alicia. Alicia. Okay. Or Alicia. It looks like Alicia. I think that's how she pronounced it. I, I only bring this up as foreshadowing is that we have where her and Daisy are talking and she says, you know, I really like to bounce things off of people. Um, it does seem like Alicia has a very, I like her, but she seems like any chef, she's got a vision for what she wants to do. Yeah. And Daisy has a vision for how she has things done too. Yeah. And they've, Daisy's had her history of going at chefs. Marcos was pretty even keel. I think she yeah. got into a little. He got into a little bit with Daisy. When, that was like the last charter when he. Yeah, people but retired. yeah, she she got mouth she got mouthy with Adam for for a good reason because he's such a fucking asshole. Um, he was, but I could see Daisy getting uh, being because when Daisy gets tired and stressed about other things, she'll get mouthy to the chef. Yeah. And if that happens, I don't think Alicia would be a fan of that. Nope. Nope. 
That's so um, I just a little foreshadowing of that one. Um, what's your next one? I think it's kind of cool that just these two seasons, we've had two. Below Deck Adventure also had a female identifying chef, and yeah. So we've had out of the four franchises existing now, we've had fifty percent of our chefs. Isn't it funny how? But we only still had one. Female identifying captain. I wonder if they've ever interviewed others that didn't get selected. No, I believe someone <laughs> put the kibosh on that. <laughs> hey, Sandy. There aren't any hey, others. It, I'm the Sandy, only it's one. A, it's Andy Cohen In here. I just want to call you. We got this female cap. We are thinking of doing another female captain, Sandy. What do you think about that, Sandy? What's her name? What's her name? Uh, her name's Ruth. Ruth Rutherson. What do you think about that? Uh, I've worked with her briefly. Captain Rutherson. Uh, no, no real, no real spark. No oh, okay. real, really, ge- generally, generally deficient in the knowledge department. Okay. Um, doesn't know how to work with a crew. Doesn't okay. teach anything. Okay. So, um, yeah. I mean, do you know where? Do you know her address by by uh, <laughs> by chance? <laughs> Just gonna go and by and see her. Make a call. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've got a. Where's my baton? It's gonna be around here somewhere. <laughs> but that is funny that there's not even. A, I know there's. I know there's not as many. No, but it not. is. But yeah, we're not gonna hear from Captain Sandy. No, not let that happen. No, all. I can't imagine that would ever happen. But and Sandy, if it ever happens, Sandy's like, I'm so happy to welcome. She and she would fucking hate the woman. Oh, she would hate her. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> She's happy being in her own little little queendom. She likes to be she likes to be the pearl in that clamshell. Yes. We all love to be the pearl. <laughs> <laughs> how did you how did you get that picture of me reclining naked <laughs> on, on a on a clamshell? Uh the well, I sadly I saw the your movie. The birth called, of Venus. The uh, birth yeah. of Venus. <laughs> the birth of penis. <laughs> Or that's that's when my you, version. Yeah, when you try to call Baz Lerman because you had that script for the great Aspie, didn't work. <laughs> Aspie, <laughs> the great Aspie. Yeah, just 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 putting my just putting my but instead of my butt winking for the green eye, <laughs> the green light across the across the. I, he said, and Aspie saw the green light. And I was like, click, click. Hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, she put the o, the hoe in the art deck hoe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very smart joke. What's your next tea bag? Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, I want to talk about this. Alex knows exactly what he's doing, y'all, taking these women on a tender ride. Even even Daisy knew. He said, we'll get Alex to take them on a tender ride. Uh, well, they, they did that because they, we'll talk about this, but y'all, the, y'all, the, the drama is broke. The, the, the boat, boat broke. broke. <laughs> yeah, I like that we're talking about everything else except for that the fucking boat well, doesn't move. Most of, most of we're, I'm not going to talk about any of the complicated technical shit, but y'all, the boat's broken. That's all you need to know. If you wanted to listen to a podcast about how to fix boats, well, you chose wrong, Loretta. You chose wrong. wrong. This is not the one. Not the one. one. Mm -mm. Um, But yeah, the boat is broken. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it does seem like we maybe should not have started this season with this episode. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because at the end, they literally say, yeah, we need like, what did they say? Like fifteen days. Fifteen so like take, days to fix this boat. I think they have to take the boat apart, like, like an operation game. <laughs> I imagine it's <laughs> very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> touch the, touch <laughs> the sides. They got the they got the engineers from Caterpillar there, so they're just going to take the boat apart while people are on it. I loved Operation. That was my favorite game. I didn't. I <laughs> didn't have a very steady hand, and I didn't oh. like the sound that it made. Oh, it was mocking at me. Eh, failure. <laughs> eh, loser. I love eh, it. Your brother's better at this than you. Oh, there we are. Yeah, it always gets there. 
did not like did not like not winning at games. Didn't like it. The uh the the bread basket was always easy, but it, when it got to like the smaller things, they were really hard. Yeah, bread bread basket. That's for amateurs. Fuck off! <laughs> what a dumb game. <laughs> what a, just dumb. Yeah, isn't that dumb to have a game to inspire kids to be surgeons? Well, that's not what it is. You're not just <laughs> taking out shit. <laughs> or serial killers. That, that could be. Fair. That's fair. What's your um, next one? Oh, I'm just, sorry. You were still in mid No, I was just going to see that just that Alex has done this a lot. Basically, it's like, yeah, I spend, I, I spend day drinking trips with tourists all the time. That's what I do. He and loves he just, this. He knew how to like... He got on the boat. They were going back. He literally took the ponytail out and put his hair down in the wind. Oh, bitch oh, knew. Bitch she was, knew. She was, she was living her Fabio life realness. I know. I've got to see Alex from Below Deck Instagram. Oh, I'm sure there have been, there's been searches done. Um, his body is ridiculous, too. Um, well, that's the wrong person, but he's hot, too. Wow. wow. Anyway, uh, that was, I think that might have been the last thing I really had. These these charter guests, y'all, it's just eight women. They're, these women looks like they came out of the middle of the country. They look very normal. <laughs> aside, look from the very woman, normal. aside from the woman who has a grudge against her sister, who was really the artist in the family. <laughs> That's true. Oh, wow. His Instagram. Do you know he has a full back tattoo? Of course he does. Full back tattoo. And I'm sure it's a thirst trap. I'm sure the whole thing is thirsty. I mean, he does want to be kind of like Jason Momoa vibes or wants to be. Yeah. He's he's not that smooth, though. Um, no. I think this is the weirdest thing. He's The thing about him is he's a very attractive guy who is most likely an introvert. Um, you know, so. You know, what he is a little bit, why he is attracted to me, but why I don't fully get it. Um, he's got a bit of, of, um, he's a bit of a try hard, I think. Interesting. How like, so? I feel like, no, I, I'm agreeing with you that mm-hmm. he's introverted into, cause to me, the, the sexiest thing is confidence. And there's almost like this false bravado that he puts on. A yeah, little I bit. get that. Cause I, I think you're that. right. I think he's an introvert. I'd still um, blow him. Oh God. Anyway, what the hell's going on? Uh-oh. There's someone someone's reading the meter. <laughs> They're walking around right. with a green vest. Right. It's distracting. Uh that's all I really got. Uh Daisy you know, this, tells the yeah, boys to do the EDM party, y'all is, it looks like there's just a couple of balloons. They're about to do a balloon stomp or something like that, which I hate. Did you ever do the balloon stomp in the fall festival? I could never be in the same room with it. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're just stomping balloons. They did that one. I didn't like that game. I thought it was dumb. I think there was a prize in some of the balloons or something. I don't know. Maybe. I did enjoy the I did enjoy the woman that kept falling over on the chair. And y'all, she <laughs> fell she fell over on her chair the first time. And none of her friends helped her. They all just <laughs> sat there and kept eating. They just went, there she goes. There she goes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, y'all. I think Chase is going to be the boat resident uh, old lady maker outer because he's yeah. already giving that woman a lap dance. That's going to be his job. He's going to be the the Ben. I think, and you know, I love a good stripper, so maybe that's why I've a bit that why I'm attracted to him because he has the confidence a little bit. True. I think that's golly, all I that's all I got. This this season's going to make me pregnant. <laughs> And I'm fine with it. I gave up getting pregnant. Hey, I'll never too, stop trying. Too many. Um, yes, I think that's the end of the show. Y'all, that's the show. You know the deal. Go to realitygaze.com. Again, if you want this show commercial free, be sure to join the Reality Gaze Plus at the $8 tier, and you'll get that without the ads. Um, thank you for support on that. We're excited for Love is Blind. I'm sad for Love is Blind to wrap up, but also it's kind of perfect because I don't have the energy for Love is Blind to go on any longer. It, it can't. It, it cannot it, sustain it. No. I'm so anxious when, y'all, we both watched the finale, and I was, I, 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 I had to take a gummy after I finished that. 
I think there is a there is a resolution of love is blind when it when when all, everything's over. You just go. <laughs> oh, yes, agreed. Uh, they they agreed. build it up really well, really, really well. All right, y'all. That's the show. Thank y'all so much for leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. We appreciate y'all so much. Until then, we'll see you next week. But we always tell you, don't be sad. Don't be, we won't be gone that long. We'll see you next time. And until then, it's what poods. Don't put a cock on my face. <laughs> don't draw a cock on my face. <laughs> it's anchors, anchors again. again.